when you think of the air forces of the Second World War, which come to mind as the deadliest? Germany's? Japan's? Britain's? America's? While the air forces of these countries certainly wreaked havoc in the skies, they also overshadowed smaller countries whose air forces did a lot of damage or swooped in to save the day when the major powers needed help. In this video, we're going to take a look at the air forces of four minor countries, discuss what they did during the war, and share our opinion on which one was the deadliest and most feared overall. We often associate World War II era Poland with great suffering. It was the first country Germany invaded, and an estimated 98% of Poland's Jewish population was murdered during the war. However, it's easy to forget that they too fought fiercely, and at no point did they display their fighting spirit more than during the Battle of Britain. As the Luftwaffe began to weaken Britain and invade the country, the British were desperate for help. The German attack was massive and Britain simply did not have enough trained pilots to keep up. As a result, they signed an agreement in August 1940 that allowed the Polish to form air squadrons of their own. In total, 145 trained Polish pilots fought in the Battle of Britain. 32 made up the Polish Fighter Squadron 302, 34 made up Fighter Squadron 303, and the rest were placed in various RAF squadrons. The Polish pilots were ready and eager to join the fight. While they had to learn to fly British planes, which were different from the ones they trained in, and while there was a significant language barrier between them and the Brits, they far exceeded all expectations when they entered the fight. The Poles fighting style was very different from the British. Perilous, but highly effective. They flew very close to the enemy before opening fire, which almost always ensured a kill. Squadron 302 managed to take down a confirmed total of 18 planes, with 12 probable and 1 damaged. Squadron 303, on the other hand, took down a staggering 126 enemy planes, with 13 probable and 9 damaged. This meant the unit was the most successful in the Battle of Britain. The Poles who served in RAF units excelled too. For instance, Polish pilot sergeant Antoni Kowatski, who served with 501 Fighter Squadron RAF, shot down five German bombers in a single day, making him only one of four pilots in the Battle of Britain to earn the title of Ace in a Day. The Polish contribution to the Battle of Britain was extraordinary, and without the Poles, things may ultimately have swung in the Germans' favor. Mexico never wanted to enter the Second World War, but when it disrupted the Atlantic trade routes, Mexico and many other Latin American nations saw their economies tank. Tensions built between Mexico and the Axis, and shortly after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941, Mexico severed all diplomatic ties with Japan. Then it did the same with Germany and Italy two days later. Still, Mexico refused to join the conflict. That was until May 1942, when German U-boats in the Gulf sank two Mexican oil tankers. On June 1st, 1942, Mexico made a declaration of war. Mexico deployed just one fighting unit, and to this day, that unit is the only one to ever take part in combat outside of the country's borders. The unit's formal name was Esquadron 201, but its members were known as the Aztec Eagles. The Aztec Eagles were a group of pilots and support personnel hand-selected by Mexico's president to join the United States campaign to liberate the Philippines. The squadron consisted of 33 pilots and over 270 support personnel. When they arrived in Manila in April 1945, they joined the American 58th Fighter Group, which had already been fighting the Japanese for more than one year. One of the first missions assigned to the Aztec Eagles was to weaken a group of Japanese who had dug into the mountains near the Philippine city of Vigan. It was a difficult spot to reach because of the terrain. The United States had already tried, but they needed help. The Eagles provided that help and executed dangerous dive bombing runs flying incredibly close to the mountains protecting the Japanese. The Aztec Eagles were successful in their mission, impressing even the most experienced American pilots. 
In total, the Aztec Eagles flew nearly 800 combat stories and logged almost 2,000 hours of flight time during the war. They dropped a total of 1,457 bombs and removed some 30,000 Japanese troops from action by means of injury or death. They were instrumental in liberating the Philippine island of Luzon and the island of Formosa, now Taiwan. Their work was so impactful that General MacArthur recognized them, calling them a testament to their nation and heritage. When the Aztec Eagles arrived in Mexico City in November 1945, they received a hero's welcome from their people. And in 2004, the Philippine government awarded them the Philippine Legion of Honor and the rank of Legionnaire. In early 1939, the Czechoslovakian Air Force boasted over 1,300 aircraft and 100 airfields, as well as well-trained and highly talented pilots. When Germany occupied Czechoslovakia in March 1939, the Germans confiscated all the Czechoslovakian Air Force's aircraft. Czech factories were converted to produce German weapons and planes, and all former Air Force personnel were forbidden from leaving the country. But that didn't stop them from trying. Many Czechoslovak airmen managed to smuggle themselves into Poland and join the Polish, French and British air forces. Over 500 Czechoslovaks fought in the Battle of France in June 1940. The French quickly noted the Czechoslovak pilots for their skills and overall bravery. During the battle, the Czechoslovaks took down 100 enemy aircraft while only losing 18 themselves. As Germany took France however, the Czechoslovak pilots had to flee once again. This time, they went to Britain where they were allowed to join the Royal Air Force. The pilots were far more impressed with the British than the French. One Czechoslovak airman, Officer Tomas Weberal, wrote in his diary, 8th August 1940, arrived in England. This is the only country that really wants to fight, cannot compare with what has happened in France. The RAF is the best air force ever organized. Most of the Czechoslovak pilots fought alongside the British during the Battle of Britain, but some joined the aforementioned Polish squadrons, and the Czechs even had their own bomber squadron, number 311. One Czechoslovak pilot, named Josef Frantasek, who fought with 303 squadron, took down more enemy planes than any other pilot during the Battle of Britain, with 17 confirmed victories and one probable. Czechoslovaks serving in the British 310 squadron also saw victory, taking down a whopping 59 enemy aircraft. While the total number of aircraft brought down by Czechoslovak pilots is unclear, what is clear is how vital they were to the British during their most important hour. All in all, every one of these countries contributed significantly to the Allied war effort and more than proved their air forces were among the most fierce and deadly. But nevertheless, our opinion is that Poland's pilots were the deadliest and most feared between the minor allied nations, as they had the highest confirmed victories out of the three countries we covered today. Even though Mexican pilots took 30,000 Japanese soldiers out of the fight, their involvement in the Pacific had little impact on the overall outcome of the war. Conversely, Poland's participation in the Battle of Britain is largely considered invaluable. The then Commander-in-Chief of Fighter Command, Sir Hugh Dowding, said this of Polish pilots. Had it not been for the magnificent work of the Polish squadrons and their unsurpassed gallantry, I hesitate to say the outcome of the battle would have been the same. If Britain had lost the battle, the outcome of the entire war could have been different. But what do you think? Do you agree that Poland had the best air force of all the minor countries? Do you think another of the three countries we covered was more impactful? Or do you think none of these three minor countries are deserving of the top spot? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something new.